So, I am making pizza pasta, finally, after like, whew, almost a year. Um, so I have some Classico roasted garlic sauce in here, some water boiling, some pasta, some Greek olives, some green olives, some day cheese, mozzarella, spinach, and lemon juice. So what you do with this is put it on, put the noodle water on high. And you cook the noodles for seven minutes. Just a little lemon juice with this. Not too much. Well. And I like all this in my pasta. I worked at an Italian restaurant before, and I had a guy cook. That is going to start boiling in more. That is not mine. That is the lasso. And they're having pasta in me. I'm having pizza pasta with spinach. Spinach. Really good for you. on it and it's delicious. Um, turn this down a little bit. Medium high. There's a piece of spinach in there. Whatever. Good for you. For now, um, I'm going to put a little bit of chili flakes in this because that's what I did the last time. It's really good.
It is really good. And if you want more lemon juice or more sauce, you can definitely do that. I'm going to put a little bit more in. Artichokes would be good in this chip. We all had artichokes last night. I got some at Trader Joe's and they were delicious. Kale would be good with this too. Spinach and kale. Mix it all together. Delicious. The spicy red pepper sauce from Costco. That would be amazing with this. I think I actually used that the first time I ever made the pasta. Um, and that's what this is called, pizza pasta, as you can see on the title. I thought I was made this one. Oh, and if you guys notice, I got a new t-shirt. I keep wearing that tie-dyed shirt that I got in Florida. I saw someone on YouTube actually wear it. I saw it at Target and I was like, I gotta get it. It's on clearance. It's two fifty. I have to get it. I think it's two fifty. I don't know. Something around that. What are you looking for? Oh, uh, there's corn in a bag in the freezer. I ate the corn. Huh? I ate the corn. Oh. That's what I made my bean salad with. Okay. okay. It's right in there. It's in the It's in a flash bag. It's the Walmart brand. Okay. It's not on that. It's also, yeah, there's somewhere in there. It's sort of the bottom, I think. Mm -hmm. We'll move stuff around. I had it all organized in the real thing. If you don't like olives, you don't have to put them in. I'm putting them in because I really like olives. Um, plus, you can put uh, Beyond Meat in this, the ground meat one. That would probably be really good. The beefy one. I just don't have any. Or Morning Star. And I'm putting in. I'm going to make that because I really want my pasta. It's smelling like pasta sauce and kielbasa right the front. Look at that sauce. See, that is what you're supposed to do. That's really good. So now, open up your most delicious cheese in the entire vegan world. Follow Your Heart is pretty good too. I really do love their pepper jack from them and mozzarella from the cheddar from Dan. The provolone, I do have it, but I was eating it plain and then I tried cooking it. It didn't come out right. I couldn't find a good recipe to put it in. Oh, it's not really good. And it's all, it like melts perfectly throughout this stuff. Look at that sauce. Mm mm mm. Yeah, artichokes would be really good, like artichoke hearts. You can rinse them off hearts, you get salt off. Look at that. Oh, so good. Yum, yum, yum. That would be good in my pasta. <laughs> Alright. 
Um, I was actually going to make this pizza. And then I was like, I think pizza pasta sounds a lot better. Um, so, I'm going to go eat this. You better go make it. Because if you don't, you're missing out on like one of the all time best pizzas. Plus, if you don't want to make it vegan, you can use regular mozzarella. So, that's pizza pasta. And 